All right, guys, hello, welcome back. I'm sure you are familiar with where we are right now. This is Scamps Recipes. If you have not tuned in in the past, in this series, we bring you our favorite treats from entrees to appetizers, right to your kitchen from ours. And today, in an homage to Easter, to follow up with our Scamps Toffee Baked Ham, we are doing a sweet potato toffee bake. I know. It sounds phenomenal because it is, but it's super easy also. Guys, if you missed any of these videos, just a heads up, ingredients, anything, we post all the ingredients, all the recipe steps, one by one on our blog. Right here, I have three whole potatoes chopped into, I'd say those are half moons, whatever shape you want, guys, it doesn't really matter. Um, right into a small bowl, I mean, some of these are half moons, People do squares, you can do it however you like. I like this size because it's big enough for a bite, it's uh, small enough to cook properly. So what you wanna do is you wanna take a casserole dish, it's about a medium size. Let's see, this guy is about um, 11 by seven inches. And you wanna just pour it right into your casserole dish, just like that, evenly. You see how this is even, all the potatoes are spread evenly through the space just like that. Now, in this jar, I have one stick of butter. Now, some people like to do two, some people like to do three. I like one because it allows for the butter to melt over the potatoes without um, filling the dish with too much of that butter. But you do the butter how you would like it. Um, here at Scamps Toffee, we obviously are huge fans of butter. We put it in almost everything we make, so go as heavy or light as you want. Now, I like to disperse that evenly throughout the pan. So a couple pieces in the middle, a couple pieces on the sides, just so that when it melts, it fills all the potatoes and it covers them nice and evenly. A little pinch of salt. Some people have a heavy pinch. Some people have a light pinch. That's up to you. Next up is our gorgeous California walnuts. Now, if you guys are familiar with confections across the country, some people use almonds, some use pecans. We use California walnuts because we believe that they have a perfect, perfect balance between sweet, soft, um, and they give us the perfect amount of oil content that we need to balance out with all of our toffee. In this case, to balance out with our sweet potatoes. Two cups here, okay? And like I said, guys, if you missed any of these ingredients, go right to our blog and they're all gonna be posted there, including the ham recipe on the last episode. Don't miss a beat. So, you're going to evenly spread these walnuts right over the top of the cast, just like this. Don't be afraid to get in there, take your hand, and drag the walnuts over everything. You want it to look evenly coated, not perfect. Guys, this is just an Easter bake. No one's going to be judging you for an imperfect roast, but you want to have it even so that it bakes evenly. Now, for the final ingredient, the sweet treat. You guys have seen us cook with a lot of things. We've used our white chocolate toffee. We've used our Seattle bar. But one of our favorite things in our entire sweet shop to cook with is the Scamps toffee sauce. And why? Because when you cook, you might use brown sugar or you might use butter. We have both of those things in here. And it's all natural and preservative free. It is the ultimate combination of flavor for almost any dish. Um, I'm sure you could find a couple things that this would not pair well with, but we challenge you to find those things because we have not yet. So you're going to warm this in the microwave, 35 seconds, or if you don't have a microwave, put a one cup in a saucer over your stove, boil that one cup of water, place this jar into the cup of water just below the brim, let it sit there for about 20 seconds, and then carefully with tongs, pull it out and you'll have your warmed coffee sauce. All right, guys, golden rivers, prepare for that. So you want to do zigzags right over the top, just like this, making sure to give every single potato the love that it deserves and making sure that all of those phenomenal California walnuts get covered in even amount. Mm. Never gets old. All right, now, this is going to bake for 45 minutes at a temperature of 350 degrees. You can find all of this, like I mentioned, right on our blog. Don't be afraid. Hop on over there and check it out. We're going to pop this in the oven and we'll be right back. Stay tight. 
All right, guys, we are back. If you've been tuned in with us, we have been making a sweet potato bake with our toffee sauce for Easter. Now, that is best to company with an Easter ham. You can find that recipe at scampstoffee.com. But for now, I'm gonna give you the final instructions on finishing off those potatoes. We popped them in the oven at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. Pull that guy out, put another half a stick of butter on top of the top of it, melt it, of course and then prepare to serve it to your friends and family, and they will absolutely love it. We promise that. Until next time, one taste you're taking. Bye guys.